Halloween is coming. So in this lesson, you'll learn the music theory secret behind American Horror Stories theme tune and how you can use it to make your own spooky melody. But first, do. <laughs> Hello revolutionary music makers, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to Hack Music Theory. Where we help you make great music that stands out. If it's your first time here, please help yourself to our free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download from our website, hackmusictheory.com. Also, if you download our free book now, you'll get the multi-track MIDI file from this Halloween series in our weekly newsletter on October 25th. If you're watching the new season of American Horror Story, then you'll have noticed that their creepy theme song has had an update, or rather, a backdate. Yeah, and just like Stranger Things, American Horror Story has taken us back to 1984, and their theme song perfectly reflects that with its lush synthesizers and big drums all swimming in an ocean of reverb. Now, if you haven't been watching, then you're probably wondering how can 80s music sound scary? Well, it's all in the music theory. So here are the two theory secrets that make the American Horror Story melody spooky. Secret one, the flat six. The flat six injects mystery into a melody, especially when it's played over the top of your root note, which can be played in the bass. To hear this in action, simply play a high G over a low B root note. And on that note, the American Horror Story theme song is in the key of B minor, so we'll use it too. Now, unsurprisingly, the mysterious flat six also turns up in the X-Files theme song. So the flat six is one semitone above the five, and both X-Files and American Horror Story set up the flat six by playing the five before it, because the five sounds so normal that it makes the flat six even more mysterious. By the way, if you want the ultimate list of do's and don'ts for writing great melodies, then use the Melody Checklist, which is in our songwriting and producing PDF. It also contains hacks on how to write chord progressions, bass lines, and all the other essential songwriting and producing hacks, as well as MIDI file examples. You can download it right now at hackmusictheory.com. Secret. The flat five injects the horror into a melody, especially when it's played over the top of your root note, which can be played in the bass. To hear this in action, simply play a high F over a low B root note. Now, if you're thinking, whoa, that sounds out of key, then you're right. The flat five is a non-diatonic note in the key of B minor, which means it's not in the B minor scale. And unsurprisingly, this scary flat five turns up in every other horror movie soundtrack as well. Now, just like the American Horror Story melody emphasizes that one semitone ascend from five to flat six, it does exactly the opposite at the end of the melody, where five descends one semitone to the creepy flat five. All right, and here's our spooky melody that we wrote using these two theory secrets. But just before the playthrough, what's your favorite horror soundtrack? Drop us a comment. Thanks for watching or listening from the podcast, and we'll see you next week when you'll learn how to add a chord progression and bass line to your horror melody.